Hi there, I'm Jeff. I'm a senior product manager at Cloud NC, and today I'm going to talk about configurations in Fusion 360 and how you can make use of configurations in your machining and CAM processes. What are configurations? They are a new feature in Fusion 360 that have been common in other design systems that you might be familiar with. And what configurations allow you to do are to create variations of your of your design in Fusion 360. So instead of having separate files that you might have to repeat processes over and over again, and then those files kind of become detached from one another, you can maintain the relationships and the parametric relationships in your model while continuously uh, in one, one file. So in this case here, I've got a design with three different variations, and those are set up in configurations. And the third variation here, the third one with the gray, has some internal features that the other two don't have, and that's just uh, enabled by controlling the suppression of features in the configuration table. Very handy feature. I just put some color on these to make them a little bit visually distinct, but it doesn't affect the machining, which is the next thing we'll talk about and why configurations are really valuable. With configurations in Fusion 360, I only need to make the, my setups once, and the setups themselves are parametric, so it's really helpful to run my cam, optimize my part, and then simply change the configuration, recalculate my toolpath operations, and I can generate uh, parts or toolpath operations for more than one part in a matter of minutes. It's very it's much more controlled and simple. So in this case, we're uh, setting up the setup. We're just doing a simple top and bottom. We don't have a fixture in this, uh, in this part example, but that would totally work. And so with this streamlined process, we can now go through and uh, set the different parameters and then they're all interrelational to each other. And at this point, I will start Cam Assist. So I'm get my view. And I'm happy with these parameters, I'll hit run. So uh, if you don't know what Cam Assist is, it is an automated toolpath generation system in, available as an add-on to Fusion 360. So I could be setting up each of these toolpath, toolpath operations manually, but I'm using the uh, enhanced automation of Cam Assist to generate my toolpath operations automatically. So that's done. Top and bottom, or inside and outside if you prefer. And now I can let that go and I'll expand my toolpaths here. And to verify that they all look correct. I might have an issue or two that I need to address. And then from this point on, I could either run simulation or I actually set up my NC files and send it to the machine. So I'm just going to run simulation. So as I said, the flexibility is, is really great and where it becomes really cost effective now is I can come back in and I'm going to set this up for my configuration number two set up the uh, file the toolpath. So if I go back and I look at my toolpath operations, they're all flagged because they're they're out of sync now, but I just have to recalculate. And once that's done, all of those uh, toolpaths will be ready to go to a new NC file. This is really an enhanced way to work rather than have a separate file for part one, part two. And then once that's recalculated, again, I could check the toolpaths, make sure they're what I want to have on the machine check my simulations, all using the most familiar Fusion 360 tools. So on the third um, version, the third configuration of this part, we've got some additional features in there. So I can't really just change uh, change my toolpaths by regenerating. I'm going to delete them off. I've deleted off the Cam Assist generated toolpaths, and now I'm just going to run Cam Assist again. I've sped up this presentation a little bit, but you get the idea that it's still a very rapid process. I just did a video. And now once that's all generated, you'll see that the configurations, configuration three here, all the toolpaths have been generated. So in a matter of just a few minutes, we've generated not only the, the designs for, for three separate parts that are similar, but they're very different. 
and also the toolpath parameters ready to go for a machine uh, in our shop. So remember that uh, configurations have a lot of benefits. They're going to be a great time saver. They're very cost effective. They give you a lot of design flexibility. You can iterate really quick and streamline your design and manufacturing process. Don't forget to sign up for a free trial of Cam Assist and you can visit us at www.cloudnc.com. Thank you for watching.